Hi everyone, Seth Sketch for Fashion Drawing Tutorials and this is ninth tutorial in how to draw wedding dress crush course and here again we are going to draw a more traditional style of wedding dresses West African dress made with Ankara fabric there was a request and since I actually didn't plan to make uh, traditional dresses but since I already added a Muslim and Indian dress I decided to make one, one African dress and I understand that there are many many countries in Africa and bit by bit I will be adding uh, wedding dresses of other countries and my country as well later so please don't get offended they will be coming the wedding dresses of other countries later bit by bit so let's start drawing our dress it has very slim skirt in the upper part and it goes as a mermaid skirt in the lower part and then the headwear uh, just pay attention to the shape of your skull and the way I'm drawing the folds. There are many, many small folds closer to your forehead and then there are volumized uh, big folds in the upper part. Just, it just beyond your skull. Um, and then please outline everything with a fine liner. I'm using 0.1 nib fine liner. So, just finishing your makeup um, and then let's work with your headwear. So, uh, I'm showing just a little bit of your ear, just um, the tip of it. And then I'm drawing more folds closer to your forehead. And then I'm drawing these volumized folds on the top. So, then I'm drawing your earrings. And now I'm going to make the pattern and actually here you can play with your fantasies um, like you can draw anything like right now I'm drawing these uh, beads and then I'm drawing flowers and I'm going to connect those flowers with rings and you can draw anything you can draw insects you can draw geometrical figures and you can just uh, draw them as if they are insects you can draw anything like right now I'm making these mm, circles what is cool about Ankara fabric you just it's complete freedom of your fantasy uh, you can draw like really random things and if you use colors well then you'll get something really beautiful and interesting and unique because it's yours. Now I'm outlining all those shapes with a fine liner and inside of those beads I'm drawing some small patterns, basically it's just some lines, zigzag lines, straight lines, some circles. And now as you can see I'm drawing those flowers with the rings between them, connecting them. Now I'm going to play with the elements that I made in the upper body on her skirt. So I'm just using same elements, sometimes I'm going to change the direction, change the shapes, but I'm not adding anything new. So those spiral lines in the low part of your skirt start splitting, decomposing and this order just becomes a chaos. So you can actually express some ideas with the shapes and, uh, and it just gives some cool, cool results in the end. And after that we'll start coloring. I'm going to use magenta for the patterns. And now I'm coloring her belt. I'm using purple pencil to show the threads. Ignore the pale green on the fabric. It, it was just an uh, experiment that I made. We're going to use emerald green as the background. And I'm coloring, making these dots because it helps me to work when there are many details that I shouldn't color. I'm adding a little bit of green on the top and the bottom to show that there are more shadows. And uh, on the top of magenta, I'm using purple marker. 
And then with a white ink uh, ball pen, I'm making these dots around all those elements that I made with magenta and purple. And I'm showing those rings between the flowers, adding some shine on the flowers and making the fabric shine itself with a slight touch of the pen, many, many dots. When you touch a little bit, you get really small dots. And with the help of black pencil, I'm just showing some wrinkles on the fabric. Just to repeat the action that you did with the rest of the pattern on her dress. Now using ice gray four, and black pencil, I'm going to show shadows inside of the folds of her low skirt. So as you can see, some parts are further, some parts are just closer, so it's not deep folds. The deeper the fold, the darker it should be. So you use more marker there, you use more pencil inside of those folds. With a pencil, you can add more contrast, you can make those shadows darker, plus you can draw some smaller wrinkles just by drawing lines. You can make the fabric more shiny using white pencil. For the diamond jewelry, I'm going to draw white lines with uh, fine liner and then make white dots with uh, correction pen. I'm left with drawing pattern on your headscarf and then I will add some shadows using black pencil and after that I will add that shine to her jewelry. I'm also going to use a purple marker for her clutch and we're done with this tutorial if you have any questions or suggestions please write in comment section below subscribe to fsketcher channel for more tutorials like it on facebook follow on instagram and uh, there are much more uh, resources for fashion drawing on fsketcher website so please visit it and see you next tutorial